hello friends welcome to java swing tutorial so in this video we are going to see how to use j radio button component from java x swing package so you will learn what is a button group we may already use this button group in the swing tutorial we will use that once again then you will learn how we can say which radio button is selected by handling the item event through item listener and the method we handle is item state change so this is a optional if you want you can watch awt playlist once you go through all this video uh, the swing tutorial becomes easy for you so the very first video shows how to create a jframe window in this video we are not going to concentrate on the uh, jframe window creation what we do we use the jframe window created in the very first video tutorial on top of that we will add the radio button and we will demo how j radio button works So we will construct the J radio button by passing the caption to the constructor. So this will create a radio button with whatever you pass as your caption. So for example, if you use the age, then this 14 to 20 will act as a string and you will pass that here. So we will create set of radio buttons. That means three or four how many instances you need you can decide so after creating those group let's say we create three radio buttons if we create these three radio buttons we have to add all these three instances to a button group so we need to call first we need to construct your button group then we can use the add method on this button group to add the J radio button to it. So likewise, we will add three radio buttons, for example, to this one group G1. Then all these three radio buttons becomes group one. So this will appear as radio buttons so let's assume the captions are one two three then all these three will appear as a radio button we know the properties of radio button so you can select only one in this group so if one is selected then other two becomes unselected so first we will add our radio button to the button group then we will also add this to the content pan. So once you add it to the content pan, uh, the radio buttons will get displayed in the container. Like AWT radio button, J radio button also produces item event. And this item event is supplied to item state change method. So here you can place your handler code. All right, now let's go to the Eclipse demo. So let me open Eclipse IDE. So this code is from the very first video of this uh, series. Now we will start adding the uh, radio button. So in every video, we will change the size and location so that it will fit for the present example.
here if you see we are creating uh, three radio buttons the instance are radio 1 radio 2 and radio 3 Next, if you see here, we are creating the button group. This button group is from Java X dot swing. So first we are importing that. So PG1 is the button group which we created. After that, we are adding all of our radio buttons to this button group. So red one, red two, red three, all three are radio button. So after adding this swing radio button to uh, button group, we add these J radio buttons to our frame window also. So control host, if you see, we already made a call to get content pan. It returns control host. To the control host, we are adding all three radio buttons. Next, we handle the item event. Before that, we will run and see how it looks. So, our radio button is ready. And you can see whatever caption we pass here. That means a string we pass here. That will sit as radio button's caption. So, I can select only one radio button in this. Because all these three is... Uh, so there are three radio buttons right so all three radio buttons are grouped under uh, one button group bg1 so that's why we can select only one among this group so if you need two set of radio buttons then create one more group and add those buttons to that group now we will go ahead and handle the item event So this is the method we need, add item listener, then I'm placing the keyword new space, after that hit the control space button in your uh, keyboard. So from the displayed option you can see, um, since we already placed the keyword, Eclipse will provide the history time. So you have to click on that anonymous inner type, so double click here and you can see the content is placed so it automatically provides item state changed so you will get the skeleton code for the override so inside this skeleton you have to place your handler code so this is a handler code for radio one so we no need to check who is the event producer so we can directly make use of that rad one and check is selected so the radio j radio button provides a method called called is selected so this method returns true or false so it returns true when the radio option is selected so when it is in selected state we make use of j option pan so this was already discussed in this video series so we make use of the option pan to show the dialog, show message dialog. We pass the parent. The parent is our frame window. So since this is an anonymous inner class, anonymous inner class which implements item listener, we if you directly use this, it will refer the anonymous inner class. That means it will refer the anonymous inner class which implements item listener so that's why we make use of a jframe demo that's the outer class then we use the this keyword followed by the period so now the outer instance is passed to this show dialog then we 
send a string that displays the message box and the dialog so title is selected option and we use the information message type so we just implement it for uh, one radio button the same way you have to implement for other two radio buttons so i'm going to do a copy paste So here we handled for other radio buttons. This is radio 2 and this label is changed. Then we did the same for radio 3. That's all here. Now we will execute it. So you can see radio 2 option pick, radio 3 pick and radio 1 pick and when I pick uh, radio 3 radio 1 will become unselected and radio 3 option get selected that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye